Welcome back everybody, and if you are new here, welcome to my channel, Gochujang Mama. I like to post all sorts of recipes weekly. Okay, so today I am making a super simple and easy French toast casserole, and here's how I do it. To start, I will be using a one pound French loaf, or a loaf of French bread, and all I'm going to do is slice it into maybe an inch, a half inch to an inch thick slices, and another important thing you might want to do is use day old bread. This bread has been sitting in my refrigerator for two days, so it's definitely not fresh and that's what you want. You want something that's a little more dry. You could also use a fresh loaf and just toast it sliced in the oven. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to my egg cream mixture. Here I'm beating eight large eggs and I'm going to add them to a large bowl. Now I'm going to add a half cup of sugar. You could add more if you want it sweeter. I'm also going to be adding a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and I'm also going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now I'm going to add freshly grated nutmeg, just a pinch. You can leave this ingredient out if you are not a fan of nutmeg, but I think it adds wonderful flavor to the casserole. Now I'm going to mix and combine well. Now the last two ingredients will be 16 ounces of whole milk, and I'm also going to add eight ounces of heavy cream. Once you've combined and mixed everything together, you'll want to start assembling the casserole. Here I have a 9 by 13 buttered baking dish and all I've done is taken two tablespoons of softened butter and slathered the baking dish. Now I'm going to layer in all of my sliced bread. Now another way to do this is to actually dunk each slice of bread in the egg cream mixture, then layer it and then pour the rest in the casserole but I actually find this way a little bit easier. It's, it's less messy, but you can do what you find most convenient. So now I'm just going to pour all of my egg cream mixture and try to coat all of the bread. And if you do pour it and you find that some of the bread is not coated, you can sort of mash it and make sure that it's pressed inside of the liquid, or you can just get a little spoon and coat any spots that you didn't get. It all works. Once you have everything coated and in the baking dish, you'll want to cover it with aluminum foil. And I am going to let this set in the refrigerator overnight and bake in the morning. If you do not have that kind of time and you're just going to have maybe breakfast for dinner or for lunch, then you can definitely let this soak and set in the refrigerator for at least four to six hours. That should do the trick. So I let mine set overnight, which will definitely yield best results. So now I'm going to bake this uncovered. I have preheated my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and I am going to bake this for 35 to 40 minutes. After about 40 minutes, my French toast casserole is done. Everyone is waking up to the smell of the delicious cinnamon, cream, egg, nutmeg in this recipe. It's so delicious and it's such a great way to wake up in the morning. So I'm going to serve this two slices at a time. I'm going to sprinkle on some powdered sugar and you can garnish it with whatever you like. I'm adding hot buttered syrup and fresh fruit and breakfast is definitely served. This French toast casserole definitely takes a lot of the work out of making French toast in the morning. 
The exterior is golden brown and toasty, and the interior is soft and velvety like custard. It's the perfect breakfast. So I hope you guys give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.